My name is Deshaun Lewis, and I'm here to pay tribute to a John Astor. Throughout history and the world, there are many individuals who strive for success. These individuals possess the gift of being visionaries. They have a sincere determination and are driven to be successful. These characters of the world possess an entrepreneurial spirit which coexists in them and grow to maturity as they grow older. It stays with them throughout their lifetime. Their initial inception in life is a struggle, just as you and I. Additionally, these individuals are able to save their capital for special and unforeseen circumstances that befall them. Very often, never missing a chance to take an opportunity to gain prosperity. They have a keen sense of awareness. Very often, these individuals communicate well to each other in their presence. Moreover, when they speak, they are very often heard by everyone. They illuminate a room when they are present. Without a second thought, others want to be led by them. They are natural born leaders. These individuals are physically filled with ideas from their imagination. Their mind is nourished without flaw. These individuals are able to formulate plans of action and execute them. These plans could be small or take on huge thought for an outcome which is enormous in size. Brilliance is not second nature to them. It surrounds them. Very often than not, advice is asked of them. These individuals fall on the heels of no other man or woman in their lifetime. They're independent thinkers, wholehearted, motivated, and self-taught human beings of the world. They see all visions of, the, of success before anyone before them. They stand before anyone and have well-executed and educated solutions to problems of the world. They are problem solvers. These individuals who help shape and influence our country one man in particular gave tribute is John Astor, a very wealthy businessman during his time. Thought to be the richest man in the United States when he turned, he died in 1848, he began life as a butcher's son in Germany. Johann Jacob Astor was born in a Lutheran family in the town of Wardaw near Heldenburg. His mother died when he was three years old. In his early teens, he helped his father in the slaughterhouse and the butcher shop but he did not enjoy this work. In 1779, at age 16, he left Wardock to join his oldest brother who had successful musical instrument making business in London. There he learned to speak English and called himself John Jacob. Another brother, Henry, was in America working as a butcher, and in 1783, young Arthur took ship to the New World. Arriving in New York, he, just, he got a job as a fur dealer, which he combined with selling musical instruments imported from London. He soon started dealing in furs on his own account and married his land's lady's daughter, a girl named Sarah Todd. The two married in 1785, not long after he arrived in New York. Together, they had seven children. By the 1790s, Ashley was buying furs in the northern United States and Canada and exported them to Europe. Sharp, ambitious, and ruthless, Astor grew his shop in the country's leading fur company by the turn of the century. He also expanded first to China with other products, including opium. In 1808, he set up the American Fur Company, which dominated the trade from Great Lakes area and the Pacific Northwest. Sensing that the fur trade heading was over, Astor withdrew from, drew from it. Now a millionaire, he started acquiring land in Manhattan. It was, it was this that made him a gigantic fortune. After, Astor spent most of his later years mourning his wife, Sarah, who died in 1834. She had been with him throughout his meteoric rise. Astor is remembered in death and legacy, the wealthiest man in the country at the time. He died in 1848. After his death, his fortune was estimated to be 20 million, equivalent to more than 110 billion now. The bulk of which went to his son, William Backhouse Astor. Driven to succeed, John Astor built a family and fortune that became a part of American history. His biographer, Axel Madsen, quotes a friend of Ashley who said that all he touched turned to gold.